Okay, just before we move on, I just wanted to um, show you a quick tip because I didn't do it last time and it's something you'll potentially come across whilst you're working. So um, here, for example, on the uh, first floor, um, I have a dilemma where I need to bring this wall back to here, but there's no um, edges here for me to kind of align this to. Um, and I can't just leave it there and hope for the best. So I need to put some edges in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just select the top and bottom edge there that I need a line between. And I'm going to push the connect button. And this will there, you know, create me this line, which I can line up. Do the same again. So I need a line here. Connect. And there we go. And what I can do is I can get the X axis on that edge and paste it to that one same here that one to that one so that they line up um, then i can go ahead and delete that original polygon i had um, and i can if I go up to there sorry and then get those two and bridge okay and then we've got a nice straight line there okay um that's it really there was something weird up here um but i've just gone ahead and, and left that bit there that's not going to be noticed and then there's the kind of conf somewhat confusing element of like this is the top of the stairs um so you wouldn't have at the top of the stairs walls here like that it just i can't see that being a thing so i'm kind of ignoring those little bits there um the balcony you don't have to go across because we'll be creating the they don't have walls obviously they have like a barrier um, and the floor is a separate thing so um that's great so i'm going to come back to this view um and what you probably would have found when you created the reference image for the first floor is that the the image size is exactly the same so if i just unfreeze this guy um if i were to center this to the world as well then they are perfectly like uh, aligned to each other. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make that 0 0.1 as well, so it's not glitching against there. Right. Okay, that's fine. So we're ready to extrude upwards now. Um, let me just freeze that guy again. So I'm gonna start with this here. And what we have is our side elevations, which will help us with the extruding process. So. I'm going to go to polygon this time. I'm going to hit control A. So all of the polygons are going to come up at once, which is exactly what I need. Before I do so, <laughs> I've just realized I've forgotten this little section here. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to take all of those three out to there. Um, and I'm not going to need these. So I'm just going to select those two. I'm going to hit remove. This is useful actually to, to include. So when you remove something, uh, if I have to press delete on the keyboard, it's going to screw up. You need to push remove here. Um, and bear in mind, if I go back to vertex, uh, it will leave the vertices behind as well. So I need to remove those two. Um, and I know that's not like a nice clean polygon there, but that's actually going to um, cause me less, less issues in the long run. Right, so it's back to where we were. So back to Polygon, Control A, and I'm ready to extrude up. So I'm going to come to a side view. Um, front will work. Yeah, front will work. Um, so I'm losing everything here. Control A again. I'm going to press G to get rid of the grid because I find that gets in the way. You can keep it if you like. Um, I'm going to open up this view so I can see everything better here. So I'm going to extrude. I'm going to select the little um, window next to extrude so that I can manually do it. I'm also going to need edge faces on. There we go. Um, and obviously the first extrusion is kind of an obvious one. It's coming up to there, kind of like the foundations of the building. And I'm going to press tick. So that's my first extrusion. Next one. I'm going to keep coming up. Um, again, kind of similar to the process we did before. We're just extruding to when there when there's going to be a point of interest here. Um, 
The only downside to doing it this way though is that we can't see the front. We only have elevations for um, the back of these reference images that I have. Um, if you know you're doing something else in the future and you do have the elevations for all four sides, then that's going to be the ideal, and you can kind of do this um, using your different views in a, in a much uh, more well easier way, probably. But um, what I'm going to have to use because it's all I have, and in some cases the, this may be the case, is um, this reference image here. Um, and some things again are going to need to be done kind of by eye. So if I look at this, this is the front, this is the back. So looking at it, I think this window here is higher than this line of windows at the bottom there. So that's going to be my first place I'm going to come up to. So I think that, you know what, we'll do this in a different way. We'll do this in a different way. <laughs> Let's just stick with the plan that we were, we were doing. Um, I'm going to uh, that's odd. Okay, sorry. Back to where we were. Let's extrude back up. Take that one. <laughs> extrude back up to here. And what I'll do is I'll add the rest, the others in manually. So that's fine. And then the next point of interest here is going to be the top of these doors, which aligns to all the windows as well. Very nice. And then the next one is going to be the sort of, well, the roof of the, the ground floor, I guess. And we're going to leave it there because obviously the next floor is done with our other um, plane that we did over here, which we'll do later. So yeah, we now have <coughs> these walls looking great. But I don't have the sort of horizontal geometry that I need around the whole building. I've got it for the back, but not the front. So in order to do this, um, it can be a little bit more confusing. So I've got, that's where the door's gonna be, there. And obviously that's where the top of the window is gonna be, but there needs to be a line across here for this run of windows. So I'm gonna select one of these edges I'm going to push ring and it will select all of them. Okay, same for the interior, hold control and select that and ring as well. Great, and I'm going to use that connect tool that I used earlier on and it will give me a line in between there. And then I have to kind of eye up, I think that's kind of dead on actually already. Eye up where that window is, I'm happy with that being the size. So if you can see that is where window is going to be, that's where that door is going to be, there's another window there. Okay, that's everything for the front. Those little windows we're going to do sort of manually um, when it comes to it. And I think, I think we're good. So that'll just about do for now. Um, this has gone on a bit longer than I'd hoped <laughs> with the way things have panned out, but that's fine. That works. And then we'll move on to the next bit in the next one.